No, that's sick one. So we just go through it somehow. Then uh, we have this one. This is a good one. Let's oh, so open the page. That's uh, where yearbook. you... Yearbook. That's what we found later, but we didn't ever know. There you are. Professional golfer. Yeah. Yes, how old were you there? What, what, chip what's your, how That's old were you there? Sixth grade, 05. It's funny. Knew it then. Professional golfer. So here comes, here's the... Mm. That's good. Good start. <laughs> we, got, we got that on camera. Mm. <laughs> What do we see when we look in the mirror, other than a reflection of ourselves? Well, Xander Shoffley has spent a long time in front of the mirror, and what he sees is something much deeper. At a young age, my dad tried to have me sort of have a lot of, you know, do a lot of self-talk and, and look at myself and really, you know, judge myself a lot and, and to see if I'm okay with myself, and I think it's helped me grow up a lot. The story of Xander Shoffley's rise to stardom is not exactly a long and winding one, nor is it the proverbial incredible journey. Although some would argue it's been an incredible three short seasons. A two PGA Tour victory rookie campaign. How about that? Xander Shoffley becomes the first PGA Tour rookie to win the Tour Championship. Gets a hug from his dad. Xander, congratulations, 2017 PJ Tour Rookie of the Year. Proud of you. And this past season, another two triumphs. Xander Shoffley has won the 2019 Century Tournament of Champions with one of the best rounds you will ever see. And an impressive runner-up finish in the season-long FedEx Cup. So Shoffley will lock up solo second. No, Xander Shoffley's story is a simple one. He was destined for greatness. I originally wanted to call him Iskander, which was the ancient name of Alexander the Great, but that's such a strange name, I didn't want to do it to him. So we named him Alexander and called him Xander. Alexander Victor Shoffley. You know, Alexander the Great. I guess he's just got a little bit of a weirdo when it comes to that stuff. He was this big German sergeant type dad growing up. You know what I mean? Uh, don't cross him. I never, I mean, I tried to here and there, but that didn't go so well for me. I told you I'm pulling everything. You don't want to listen. Here. There was a lot of headbutting. It's a normal process you go through, especially if you're so involved at such a young age. Even after getting into arguments of what they were doing, in the end, they were always cool headed in the end. and managed to work it out. Gosh. Is it hard to cut it when you swing out? That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> last, last time I checked. Yeah. If there were any arguments or things they were working on the swing, it was at the golf course. But when they came home, it was kind of, you know, it was family. Family. While well, a first generation American, it is Xander's lineage that lies at the core of his success, both on and off the course. Yeah, that is. I've been brought up on, you know, several different cultures, and, you know, my family has an interesting system, I'd say, uh, the way they raised me, and it's helped me to adapt to different environments pretty quickly. Yeah. yeah. Hey. That system is what the Shoffley family calls the Shoffley way, preached heavily by the family patriarch, Stefan. The Shoffley way is discipline, respect, honesty. Born in Stuttgart, Germany, Stefan himself was an accomplished athlete, an Olympic hopeful in the decathlon until sidelined by a near fatal auto accident. He's the only swing coach Xander has ever had, and he's been there every step of the way. Looking at whether he's trying to turn it or not. And it is his French German heritage that is the foundation of the Schaffeli way. 
in particular. What comes to mind for the German side is certainly a self-disciplined approach, being very, uh, you know, I, I think bringing him up, I told him that every day in the morning I want him to go in the bathroom and look in the mirror in his own face until he smiles to see how insignificant he really is and how insignificant worries are. It's hard to, you know, look yourself in the mirror every morning and, and be really honest with yourself. On the French side, uh, the savoir vivre, which means actually to enjoy yourself and to enjoy the people that you live with and your environment uh, to the fullest. Being honest isn't just about, you know, telling the truth. It's, you know, being truthful to yourself. It's hard in today's day and age to really hear the truth sometimes. And if, you know, if you want it, you can come in our house and my dad will give it to you straight. And so will my mom. While Stefan's German-French heritage formed the basis for the Shoffley Way, it's the matriarch, Ping Yi, who solidified that foundation and holds it all together. Yeah. That no, is be, just yeah, mom, a mess. mom with Xander. Uh, there's a date on here, 95. Right. Two. And that's... Uh, Two years old, almost three. My dad plays a, a very unique role, obviously, with several hats, uh, being my coach and, and everything else, but my mom is... Is, is where the love and the support really is. I mean, she'll do anything for me. Oh, mom, yeah, in a kimono, kimono in Japan. <laughs> that is a rarity. Yeah, look, look, look how that. young she looks. She is, I have no idea how old she is. Definitely before I met her. We met on campus at a now uh, no longer existent uh, university here in San Diego. She was 20 and I was 23. And um, I think it was 5th of May when we went out for a drink and we married August 5th, same year. But there was chemistry, you know, just uh, get clicked. She was born in Taiwan, so she's Chinese, but uh, her parents brought her over to Japan. And so she, her mindset is really a Japanese mindset. And the Japanese mindset uh, and the German mindset, when it comes to uh, self-discipline and to certain other things in how you regiment your life is quite similar. It was these principles and mindset that raised the Shoffley boys, anchors the Shoffley way, and played a huge part in the Americanization of Alexander Victor Shoffley. We came to America, we definitely were aiming at, at making them uh, globally minded, if you will. Yeah? And I believe uh, when you look inadvertently, uh, when he's on the golf course, that is very helpful. Yeah? It gives him a very, very solid basis. And that was not the plan. We did not know that he's going to have this talent, obviously. He's going to be around for a very long time. But yes, all of these elements definitely are part of the big mix. Yeah? And a big mix it is, from the green spaces of Stuttgart and the busy streets of Tokyo to the jagged coastline of Southern California. You know, I'm the only you know, natural born citizen in the family, so I realize how it, it cool it is to be an American just when, um, you know, when my dad uh, became an American citizen and my mom did and sort of the emotion that overcame them. Now that I'm old enough to understand how family dynamics work, now I know that uh, he wanted a very tight-knit family, and so that's what we are now. Rounding out the tight-knit household is brother Nico. Three years Anders senior, Nico also hails from Stuttgart and is an integral part of the family dynamic. Yeah, my mom grew up best friends. Um, we fought a lot more when we were younger, just like any brothers would. I think it's like any relationship, you know, with younger siblings. You know, when you're younger, you know, you find them at times to be annoying. You know, they try to always follow you and be with you and as you grow up you kind of learn to appreciate those things. And now we don't really fight. Um, you know that I kick his ass now but I'm just kidding. <laughs> My dad always made it a point to make sure that we're best friends and I think he did a good job of that. I mean, we are best friends and yeah. and they all finally got to witness Xander's success firsthand last year in Shanghai. That was the first win that I got to see in person. The other um, previous ones I saw on a laptop in the middle of the night when I was in Europe. Xander Schofle is the WGC HSBC champion here at Shishan. To my family, thank you. You know, thanks for being my rock and, and giving me stability and, and, you know, never quitting on me. I won't forget it.
I think the only people that have seen me put all, you know, my, my body work together from a young age and all the sacrifice and, you know, the yelling and the fights and, and whatnot. It was nice to share with him. In his first event of 2019, the Shoffleys were together again in Hawaii when he fired a final round 62 to best the best at the Century Tournament of Champions. Won't be many better rounds played all year long from this point forward than what we just saw. He won again, so I like to think that, oh, I must have, must have been my presence, but uh, <laughs> um, it, was, it was nice just to be out with the family and with friends in Hawaii. And we used to live there. This is a good one. It's Hawaii, I think, right? No, that is Hawaii. Yeah. That is Hawaii. The two boys, pro shop rats. <laughs> the two boys. That's and upstairs. He'd always be pulling the shirts out. Yeah. Only Xander Shoffley knows for certain what he sees when he looks in the mirror. But at some time, during the countless hours he stared, Perhaps he saw his destiny and his deep ancestry that determined it. My whole family is just my support team. My dad, he's invaluable. It's hard to even think about him not in my life. My mom is kind of like the loving, supporting side. So is my brother. You know, they're there for me at every step of the way if I need to call him or talk to him or do my laundry when I'm home for four days. You know what I mean? As ridiculous as that may seem, uh, it's just really the full package.